first. Well, the thing is, it's idolatry. Because this is the thing. We're, we're, yeah, we're not supposed to believe in like lies. Or, you know, Islam teaches, for one thing, that Jesus didn't die on the cross. Right? That's a lie, right? We know that. Do you believe in Jesus died on the cross? Yeah. That's what they teach, that he didn't die on the cross. So when, whenever any religion teaches a lie, then we know that that's idolatry. You know, if they're, they're worshiping whoever that teacher is, whether Wait, it be Muhammad. Isn't, like, when we judge other people, isn't that kind of wrong, too? Well, Jesus said to judge with righteous judgment. He's not really saying don't judge. It actually says in 1 Corinthians 6 that the saints will judge the world, right? So we have to be able to judge and discern what's right and wrong. Right? That's why he tells people, well, in, in, for instance, in the Great Commission, he says, go and teach them to obey everything I've commanded you. Yeah, Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. Right? So if I'm teaching, that's what I'm basically telling them is, and then he tells them to tell them to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? So if you're going to actually do this, right, and do what Jesus said, tell people to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, which is what I do here, and teach them to obey everything God has commanded, right, to turn from sexual morality, that's all in Scripture. But actually, like, homosexuality, it doesn't say, like, you can't. Well, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9 through 11. Okay, I'll let you read it yourself. But what does that say, verse 9 through 11? Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. Do not be deceived, neither the sexual, sexually immoral, mm -hmm. nor idolatrous. Idolaters, mm -hmm. nor adulter adulterers, mm -hmm. nor men who okay. practice homosexuality. What? I have never read that. It's in the Bible. In the yeah. Bible. Wait, what verse? What's that? Corinthians. First Corinthians six nine Catholic through eleven. Bible or what's no, no. Bible? This is actually. Um, I guess the Gideons. You know, the Gideons like yeah, for free, but I think it's. I'm not sure. I've never read that. Yeah. yeah, if you look, well, you you know, any Wait, Bible says the same thing. Go look at the King James. You know, that's usually a real trusted version. It'll say the same thing, King James. Also, Romans 1, 26 and 27. If you read... Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. We have to go. Well, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take care. Hopefully, they'll believe the truth, huh? You never know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 They were, they were open yeah. Yep. Yep. That was good. Caught their attention. Praise God. So what was the verse that you read? First Corinthians chapter six, nine through eleven. This is what you're doing. Islam is not a race. Islam not a race. I know it is. It's a, it's a religion. Yes. And it's a perfect religion. It's a jihad. Oh, no. It's a jihad. Don't not a perfect. Me, no religion is perfect. Jihad is a bad. There's a million Christian religions. There's a million Christian religions. There's only one true faith. There's one true faith. Yeah. And what faith is that? Christianity. And what is Christianity? Following Christ. And which religion is that? Which, if I'm a Methodist, is that okay? Well, you know what? There's, there's many denominations. <laughs> many but denominations. Are all but you must be born again. The bottom line, you got to be born again. Sin? If what you're not that? married, what you have sex sin? before marriage. If you're not married, oh, you have oh, sex. Yes. You're way down. Cursing everybody, cursing. Yeah. Smoke. They're not going this, 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 this is the problem with Islam. Let me tell you. Come on, Islam's yeah. lying. Y'all, you won't listen. You got to repent. Lying. Come to Jesus. Believe me, baptized in the name of the Lord. Not many ways to heaven, just one way. Give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Well. Got the sign here. Repent, here it says, you know, this is the sign right here we're sharing. Got some free Bible booklets for people. So um, maybe you can pray, let's pray we can win a lot of souls out here. We're in Pasadena right now and hoping to win a lot of souls to Jesus. And um, if you'd like, also you can join my Facebook group, Homeless Advocates for Christ and Christian Music by our Joshua Collins. I'm going to keep preaching here and see how it goes. And uh, thanks so much for your prayers. We got some more friends here, got their signs. Repent signs here. Another sign over here. Trust Jesus. Quite a few tourists or you know locals out here coming for uh, the floats here for after the rose parade. So, anyways, thanks so much for your prayers and support. May God bless. You. How's everybody doing today? God bless you, everybody. Right on. <laughs>
Uh, this, this song really touches me. This song, Oceans, uh, talks about going out on the deep waters. I know God's taken me on deep waters and always been faithful. So I hope it encourages you this song and, and that you stay strong with the Lord no matter uh, what you're going through. Because uh, you will stand just out, out there with Him no matter how deep those waters get.
that my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. paper